Hi guys, it is Becky Buscal, Norwalk's independent consultant, and I am here for the raw chicken demo. I can't wait to show you this. So again, I get asked a lot of times, you know, how in the world can I trust that this is going to pick up 99% of bacteria? Well, for one thing, and again, what is this? In case you're new. This is an, the tags always say on Norwex, this is your Enviro cloth, E for everything. I've wet it down. I have folded it into fourths, but you basically, that gives you eight cleaning surfaces to use. And I mean, what's the difference between Norwex and any other microfiber? Well, one is the density of the cloth, right? I mean, you can just tell. To be considered microfiber anyways, you basically, uh, the fibers in itself, they have to be, take a human hair and split it six ways. So each strand would have to be that dense to pick up things. That's why a lot of people use them for washing your cars. Uh, I'm looking at one that I can't reach. To show you again how cheap and how see-through my dollar store ones I used to use with vinegar, I, whatever. You know, it's on the right path. But then I found Norwex. This Enviro cloth, if you were to unravel it, it would actually, the thread would stretch from, let's just say Canada all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. That will help you understand how much microfiber is in there. Now, when you get to the microfiber part, now, each strand is like take a piece of my hair and split it 200 times. So that is the amount of power and it's in a star shape, right? So that is the amount of power in each pocket that you are literally wiping up. That's why it can actually wipe a surface clean. Now, the other thing that we have with Norwex is called the backlog technology and it will say that on your, um, on the Enviro cloth or any other cloth that has backlog technology. And what that means is there's it's embedded with micro silver. And as we know, or you might not know, silver has been used for ages. We were just studying this with the Phoenicians, right? How they learned the antimicrobial um, parts about, <laughs> I didn't know what the right word to say, but the, um, how silver is actually an antimicrobial. There is nothing that can grow on silver. So they used it for water, to keep their water clean. They used it for medicinal purposes. I'm sure some of you have heard that before, right? Um, it is just, it's, it will keep, my brother's using it on some bandages. I mean, it, it's amazing. So yes, why wouldn't you put micro silver in your cloth? Because then what happens? Are you gonna have a stinky rag? No, you're not. Because once you've cleaned with this, you rinse it underwater, hang it up by its little tag. <laughs> there we go, by its little tag. I like to use command hooks or whatever until we, you know, you can find a permanent place for it. Um, hang it up to dry, and in 24 hours, that micro silver will take place and will take effect and actually self-clean, self-purify this rag. Now, again, we are mechanically cleaning. We're not actually taking something like, I can't show you what brand this is, but not taking a disinfectant wipe and using it because that would be chemically cleaning. So there's two ways to clean, right? Chemically or mechanically. I guess thermally too, if you wanna take heat, you could also clean that way. But we're gonna see actually with some glow germ. I haven't done this before. We're gonna try with some glow germ and raw chicken. And to top it off, I have a protein, what is this called? Pro clean protein tester swab. So this is what they use at like restaurants, medical places just to show um, whether or not this is come into contact with any type of bacteria. So this is going to show us again when you read it. This is from a third party. It's not from Norwex, right? People use this all the time to check on their stuff and it gives you a grading. 
this has bacteria or protein is definitely there and this is clean right so people use this all the time so we'll be using that to test as well as do a little demo with using our our um, disinfectant wipes I'm trying to be generic here so this says the same thing it's going to kill 99 percent of bacteria in 15 seconds kills common household bacteria Hmm, but let's read the directions. To clean, you need to wipe hard uh, on a non-porous surface with wipe until surface is visibly wet. Use enough wipes to keep the surface visibly wet for four minutes. Like, did you guys know that? Because I, I, don't, I feel like I've never read this before. I've never done this. Um, then allow surface to dry completely, let air dry, but for surfaces that are extremely dirty, clean first with another wipe before disinfecting. What? Discard wipe in the trash, do not flush in the toilet, obviously. Um, rinse, if it's, okay, rinse food contact surfaces with clean potable water after disinfecting. Do not use disinfectant, uh, disinfectant on dishes, glassware, or utensils. What? Okay, so if you have to use these, you either have to pre-clean, clean, and clean again. Because what you're doing is you're killing the... So it's like spraying, if it was a weed here, spraying it with a bunch of, you know, weed killer, and then... What are you going to do with that weed? <laughs> you got to go and you still have to remove it. So it'd be a, so I, when I'm going to, I'm going to chemically kill the protein that's on here so we don't have um, any kind of bacteria, uh, but the dead chemicals are still going to sit there. So you have to wipe them off or else it's going to go onto your food or something else. I mean, that's crazy. I just wiped and went. So let's see a few things. And let's also put it to the test because we do not always use it like that, right? So what if we wiped and wiped somewhere else? We're gonna take glow germ to see what that will do too. It's my first time doing it. Stick with me. Okay, so first, let's grab one of these. I had to really search for these because we haven't bought these in years. So I had to make sure I still had some that were wet. Um, and here we go. I might have to sneeze, sorry. We haven't been around chemicals for so long that when I get a chemical around me, just like my, okay. Anyways, <clears throat> sorry, I thought I was gonna sneeze, but regardless, um, like I said, we bring glass cleaner in when I do these videos and immediately, we just get all stuffy and I didn't realize the effect that it was having. So <clears throat> let's do this quick. That's crazy. It's been years since I've actually had to do this. Raw chicken. Ooh, it's got lots of juice in it too. All right, so we've got this side. Almost not fair, right? So we'll use that for Norwex and this side. And I'm spreading it all over the place. Now we know that's going to be dirty. So let's put that, I don't, I had nothing else to put it in. <laughs> Cause again, we don't really use plastics. We use reusable things. So I wanted to make sure that was just one of our old pill bottles and we will rinse that and use it. Now to just see what is actually happening here. We're also going to use something called glow germ. Looks fun to me in a black light. How do I turn that on? I suppose I should have been ready for that. Oh, cool. So we'll be able to see the difference. So. I should have seen whether or not that's on there. Do I have? No, I don't have very much on here. Maybe I haven't opened it yet. Okay, well, we're going to just use it like that. Apparently, it got a little clumpy in the mail. 
come into me. All right, so now obviously you can see, not only is, the, let's just pretend there is bacteria there. You can obviously see. So that's gonna represent our chicken. And uh, this was the side that we will use our disinfectant wipe on. And this is the side we will use Norwex. So let's go ahead and take a look under the black light as we clean. I thought this would work better than my Norwex cutting board, right? So it's getting all over here. I'm just kind of smearing it around. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need lots more wipes. Darn it. So on a, something like this, obviously, I, I would have thought that was plenty. But as you can see, we're not really removing. Can you see that? I'm just spreading it. That's crazy. I've spread it everywhere. So I don't even wash my hands, you notice. I just kind of am putting it on the Norwex cloth, my Enviro cloth. Now, as yucky as that is, right, I'm just going to take my Norwex Enviro cloth and I'm going to wipe it. It is getting on the, whoops, yeah, I should have smeared it in first. It is getting on the cloth, as you can see, but... I can just take that, perhaps this was too porous. I don't know if you could see, but I'm not actually spreading it around. So, and again, this is a larger cloth too, if you wanna say it that way. Usually it comes out more like a powder, not so big of clumps, but you can see it's all over my fingers. So I did get it kind of on the edges there. Anyways, aside from the cuts that were in this white board that we've used for cutting for so long, you can kind of see, so this is my Norwex side. This is what we did with the chicken. But I mean, that still could mean that it's gone. So let's go ahead and test it, shall we? And honestly, if I was at another place, I might even take that and use it on somebody else's table. I mean, I would have thought smeared around, whatever. Anyways, here's the, the protein swab, right? So we are going to, let's see, make sure I know how to do this. Oh, that's how you do it, okay. So here's the swab. I'm gonna start with the Norwex because I want it to come out clean. I didn't realize that we had really cut into this board. I just thought the white, you see, I even went down on the sides. Hopefully I did good enough. Now, I'm gonna break this open. It is a little purple. There we go. Let's see. Green means clean. Oh my goodness, it's clean. That's fantastic. Now, Let's see if I can get a look. What does green mean? Clean. Yay, fantastic. Whew, I was getting a little worried about that. How well did I do that? Did my did I do my job? Now let's go on the side that had the chlor the disinfectant wipes. You can see it's kind of already starting to turn purple, but again, we're just testing it. I'm not even gonna cheat and go in the corners where I can see that I might have smeared some stuff. It's already turning a little bit of purple, which you'll see. I'm gonna dab it in here. And they say, shake it up, shake it up. All right, and you can see, is that clean on that side? No, it's starting to turn a little bit of purple. You could see actually when I was when I was grabbing it, right? That it, it did a pretty decent job, but not all the bacteria is gone. You could see on there even that it's turning purple. So I'm used to a much more purple color, so I was shocked that I did such a good job. I guess the glow germ kind of helps because you can see what you might have missed. So this is my first time using the glow germ, but 
Interesting, right? So this side was definitely not clean. It's, I would say, more along getting to the purple side, but not all the way purple. So I did a pretty good job cleaning with that, even though I didn't use the potable water. You can see the purple got all over that too. But one thing that we learned is that, look at the difference. There's still dead bacteria all over. It might've been killed, but it's still all over there. You still have to wipe it with this. This side, nope, nothing to wipe off. It's already been mechanically removed. So, and again, did this really have did this really have chicken, raw chicken? If we just went straight to the source, right? What would you get? Is there any protein present? Let's take a look at that, right? So if we hadn't cleaned at all, that's how, that's what it would look like. That's actually what I'm used to seeing. But regardless, we had green here, slightly purple here, touch the chicken, the raw chicken, Definitely purple, so definitely. Protein is actually smaller than bacteria, so um, kind of as a science experiment, right? So if you are just going for trying to get bacteria gone, it's a good way to check if there's protein still present, why um, that, that, that if you're removing an even smaller particle that you've also removed the other. Now, so we saw how clean this side got, we saw this. I can even take this back. The sides that were all full of, here we go, let's pick a good one. There, this was all full, right? I can wipe that on my side and still know that it's so thick, it's not even getting on. It's not spreading it. It's staying in the cloth right here. And let's just take, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. We can visibly see the difference, right? So let's take what it says to do, remove, remove, remove it with our microfiber. And now we definitely know I should have done that first so you could see that I actually can get their side clean too after. But again, why go through all of that? Why kill it and then kill the bacteria, kill the protein, and then go back and have to? See, now both sides are completely clean. Uh, my hands have a little bit on them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe them on my microfiber here. To clean that. I wish I had one of my chenille hand towels. We'd love to do this too, to see how clean we've actually gotten our hands. Let's see if that helped any to get that off. I should have turned off the lights. I don't know why I didn't. See, all clean now. Aside from, this is a very old cutting board. Aside from all the indentions that we can't get that from, but still it allowed us to tell what was the difference between smearing and killing it or removing it the first time, right? You saw also with the protein test strips that the bacteria on the Norwex side was completely removed. It was not so on this side. It still had to be wiped. And again, I obviously wiped this beforehand too because I always do. So it was a clean surface. We put the raw chicken down. Then we just used the antibacterial wipe. <laughs> and you saw we were just smearing it. We were just smearing all that stuff around. So chemically cleaning, mechanically cleaning, regardless when you're doing that. That's why when, when, I'm, taking, when I'm going to the store, I even just say, no, thank you. I'll just I'll take my on the go, my travel pack, and I keep one wet and or a little spray bottle with me, and I'll wipe down the handles, and I feel good knowing that that's okay, I'm protected. And I haven't got sick so far, you know, cross my fingers, but um, that's what we're doing. We're wiping down things here, um, but big deal. 
that's a really big deal to be able to touch it. I mean, I know now that it's completely gone. The protein's gone. The bacteria's gone. I trust Norwex. I use it for everything. I'll clean my toilets with that, um, clean my kitchen. Um, I still have a hard time using the same cloth, but know that you can. All I'm gonna do is go to the sink, rinse it underwater, maybe do a drop of the Norwex dish washing liquid, just to, because it did have, you know, all that glow germ too on it. Rub it together and hang it out to dry, and I can use it the next day. It's gonna self-purify. You can trust that. You can trust me. 60-day money-back guarantee. Uh, two-year warranty on these products. So the only thing you have to make sure is that you're taking, that's when you're taking good care of your cloth. So with proper use <laughs> and proper maintenance. So you wanna use, you when you actually wash these in the washing machine, you don't wanna use bleach. Bleach will just harm the ends of all those little fibers, right? It will eat away at that. You don't wanna use a fabric softener because what's that's gonna just clog all the fibers. That's what it does, right? Uh, that's what it's meant to do. So then, is it gonna work as well? No. Or how about dryer sheets? Same thing, it's gonna put a thin layer over all those microfiber um, particles that you want to pick up as you're cleaning. So, take good care of them. Like I said, a lot of times I'll just even clean mine in a sink or um, every once in a while I'll use some laundry booster, boil a thing of water, or our, our sinks have plenty of hot water. So we can just put them in the sink, do a little dash of the UPP, the Norwex detergent, the laundry detergent, let them sit there for 20 minutes and they're good to go. And you can see, you can see how dirty the water is. So happy cleaning. I hope that you really saw the difference. That was my first time doing that, so that was really fun. I hope that you saw the difference. Clean is clean, people. I mean, I can't fake science. So, trust in Norwex. Think about how much money that is saving you, right? No more of those wipes. No more of so many harmful chemicals that you're using on your windows, on your walls on so many places that we we need a we need a how about to clean your um, stainless steel right oh we need a special thing for that oh how about for your granite counters oh we need a special thing for that I used to spend people say an average of six hundred dollars a year I think I was spending more than that just on every spot I didn't know how to take care of a lot of my stuff so I took a wipe for every little thing that I had Windex sorry a glass cleaner for um, for the indoor and outdoor of all the windows that we had that was expensive uh, for my car for whatever and now we just use the enviro cloth water window cloth good to go right so that's just the basic package people not even the safe haven five that i've been going over which will also include your dusting mitt and uh, the cleaning paste so there are going to be times where you saw inside the grooves you know you got you need a little extra elbow grease there to get some of those marks off or whatever yeah and i could just go through and clean and know that i can keep the i've cleaned my husband's um hats with them that were so old we were about to throw them away some shoes we got made looking white again for sure our tub and shower that was insane how good that worked um uh, some old bowls that we had that we loved for ice cream We've cleaned those up, pots and pans that have gotten really just nasty looking, and it's all natural. There's none of those fillers. There's nothing harmful in it for you. So why not give it a try? Give me a call, order today, or just send me a private message, and I'll help you um, decide. If you want an, a personal demo, you know we can do a Zoom call or anything like that. After you purchase your cloths, I'm here for you. So if you have questions, I'll, you know where to find me. I'm always on Facebook. <laughs> Message me. Order. Enjoy.